Huh? Yes. Do uh, we need white. it? Do okay. we need? So yes, we will see how it is not be responded to the paper on the paper. Okay. Is it part of the paper today? Yeah. What?
Good afternoon. I'm Corinne Turtis, the commentator. In readings today, we'll hear a contrast between two women, the first woman, Eve, and our mother, Mary. Both were given the freedom to choose, yet one chose wisely and the other did not. We have also in our lives made good and bad choices. But today, we're, we've chosen to be here to honor our Mother Mary. Let us this day help ask her help to always help us choose to say yes to God. The presider at this Mass is Father Peter Zai. Please stand and let us begin. Our opening song is number 198, Immaculate Conception, number 198. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, happy feast day of the Immaculate Conception of our Blessed Mother. And we gather together knowing that we have such good mother, always uh, here for us and constantly interceding for us in heaven, so we should be gratified and knowing such mother's care and love for each of us. So we celebrate her great feast, and we seek her intercession for ourselves, and for the church, and for the world. So let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, who by the immaculate conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant we pray that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the servant, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and others and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Heal full of grace, the Lord is with you. But he, but she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this may be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. You shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, have also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. 
Dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Since I was very young, uh, our blessed mother has a very special place in our family and in my life too. And my mother has a special devotion to our blessed mother. And she never, without saying, uh, passed a day without saying rosary. So my mother passed six years ago, and I was in great pain and mourning. And, uh, afflicted with grief. So I had an opportunity right after coming back and um, after burying her, I came back to U.S. I lead a pilgrimage to Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico. So there, of course, I miss her so much. So, but there's a special message I have received from uh, our Blessed Mother. So on the last day, of our pilgrimage um, at the shrine, I heard some confessions. So right after the last confession, I told the lady who was with me, uh, elderly lady, I said, I'm going to say rosary. Uh, I will go to our lady, the image of our lady Guadalupe. There under her image, I will say rosary. And the lady says, Father, can I join you? Of course, let's go together. We say the rosary together. So I went there, kneel on the first pew, was very close to the image I can see her. So after kneeling down, and then a sister who looked like Mother, Mother Teresa, exactly like that, and she came over and because I probably wear the color. And she asked me in Spanish, and to mama, uh, she asked, is there your mother? I said, no, it's not my mother. She point, uh, pointed to the lady next to me. So I said, no already. But uh, the uh, sister again asked me, to mama, I said second time, no, she's not my mother. And then third time, she asked to mama, I suddenly something strike me. Why three times? Why keep on asking me if uh, she is my mother? I realized that is a message from, um, from uh, our blessed mother. At that moment, she want to assure me that uh, she is with me uh, in different ways. And uh, she's with me spiritually, uh, bring comfort with me. I'm not alone. And also, um, the mother delivered a message that uh, my mother is with me. Uh, she will never depart from me. Uh, she was with me and also uh, another way to interpret is that uh, the people um, I serve and the lady next to me is my mother. So it was a very powerful message. Of course, after that, I strike with a love and grace from God and the message has delivered to me. And uh, yes, and our blessed mother was with me, my mother never departed from, from me, and those I serve are my mothers. So because of that, I started to say rosary, and the rosary becomes so meaningful. Every word I say becomes meaningful, and so deep, and the, I feel the um, Hail Mary, and the prayer becomes so meaningful. Every word brings me so much comfort and consolation. So it's become a very, very powerful and beautiful prayer uh, by saying, reciting the rosary. So that's the experience I have experienced. So probably you have different stories 
to tell and uh, to tell that indeed our blessed mother loves us so much and uh, she always and she is always with each of us and she watch over us and praying for us constantly taking care of each of us so we are grateful to our loving God our loving God not only give us a son his son uh, to be our savior but uh, at the same time he give us a powerful mother loving mother always caring for each of each of us so Mary today we celebrate uh, her feast immaculate conception that what we believe and what God revealed yes um, our blessed mother was predestined and chosen to be the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Son of God and also our blessed mother also cooperated with uh, God especially through his message and uh, yes God has created the world God has created each human being and but uh, he did not just created us and uh, left us alone and constantly from the very beginning God has sending messages to each of us that message is message message of love and uh, there's nothing else but the love so today we hear in the gospel and God want to send that message of love through his only begotten son and we hear that when the angel came to announce the good news to our blessed mother and the first at the angel altered is hill full of grace the Lord is with you so what does that mean of course we know our blessed mother predestined predestined and chosen to be the mother of the son of God and she was full of grace at that moment and she still is and uh, but uh, the in that message if we hear this message from from an angel to our blessed mother it's also a message for each of us and yes we may have sin uh, may, we may uh, not full of grace but we know the Lord is with us and uh, we know no matter who we are there's a message it's always love God loves each of us and especially we hear when Mary was when Mary heard this message and she was troubled and she didn't know what the message about there's a fear in her heart and um, probably that's how we encounter God and in those moments of fear in those moments our heart troubled and in those moments of depress and in those moments of guilt in our heart and usually we thinking that if we feeling guilt uh, if we feel that we are depressed there's so much trouble if we feel difficulties difficulties in our life and we may thinking about the God has deprived his grace uh, in us but it's not so and in those moment we feel guilty and in those moment our heart troubled it's a moment that God come to us yes and uh, that's how God loves us and because we have this kind of feelings and God ensured that it, we will never uh, leave him and we will continue see him and see healing and see his forgiveness from him so just like Mary when she was hard troubled in a different way and if your heart today is troubled it's a moment of God's grace and God has come to your life and God have a special message for you that message is God never leave you alone he is with you then we hear and Mary says how can this be I do not know any 
uh, I do not know any uh, man. I don't have a relationship with man. And uh, yes, uh, sometimes we doubt, and how can this be? And how can I, a sinner, can be forgiven? Or how can I resolve this great difficulty in my life? And how can I release from anxiety? And we have doubt. And we, hear, we doubt about God. And we doubt our ability. And we doubt that uh, God will not help each of us. Um, but, uh, you know, the angel ensured again and to Mary. Uh, look at what happened to Elizabeth. Uh, she was barren, but now she has conceived a son. So we hear the angel says, there's nothing impossible for God. Nothing impossible for God. Yes, everything can be. It can be done according to God's will. So we have to give God a chance. Just like Mary, she completely accept the call from our God to be the mother of the Son of God. So Mary know and learn, and yes, it's possible. That's why she put herself into God's hand and totally surrounded herself to God's will. How beautiful it is. She says, Behold, I am, hand of the maid. Uh, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. So that's a shrouding. That's a complete like, trust. I'm trusting God's plan. And uh, she gave everything and her life to the loving plan of our Lord and uh, surrounded her to the God's will. So there's a part of surrounding in solving the problems we have in this life. Uh, even our sin we committed and we surrounded to Jesus Christ who had conquered death and brought salvation, brought for forgiveness to each of us. So God invites us to do the same and to hear his message and to surround ourselves to God to solve all the problems we encounter in our life. So the message is clear in today's gospel, message of love from our loving God. And the message that Mary heard was a message that God will redeem the world and through her cooperation, through her will. So the message is also everything is possible with God. So let us come to this celebration and uh, thank God for our blessed mother. She's very, very close to us. Uh, she's constantly in heaven and praying for each of us. And um, no matter what kind of uh, situation we are in, uh, we need to turn to Mary. And then Mary not only appeared uh, in Mexico at uh, Guadalupe, but uh, Mary appeared so many times uh, in, this, uh, in this world. Uh, from time to time, she will de deliver that message because she had already become a messenger of God's love for each of us. So it is also uh, God's invitation to experience his love uh, in our life. If you do not experience the uh, love of God in your life, how could you preach that love? If you do not hear that message uh, from the angel, if you do not hear that message from our Lord Jesus Christ, how can you become messenger? So only uh, we experience mother's love and we can be a good mother in this world. And if we um, experience the mother of love, a mother's motherly love from Mary, then we can be good messengers in this world. So we are all called to imitate 
our blessed mother. First of all, she loves us as she pray for us, and also she invite us to come to her, and through her know, through her to know Jesus Christ, and in that way, uh, we can truly uh, experience the consolation, the motherly love that will never abandon us in our life. At the Eucharist celebration and uh, every celebration, and including our Blessed Mother and all the saints we celebrate in the church, is a celebration of God's love, and that God's love is constant and uh, forever uh, in our hearts. So today, and our Lord Jesus Christ can invite us and to, to come to our Blessed Mother as uh, He did on the cross. And uh, when our Blessed Mother and the beloved disciples were under the cross, and the Lord says, uh, Behold your mother. Let us behold her and uh, regarded her as our model and to follow our Lord Jesus Christ closely. So the message is clear. And the Lord is with us. The message is clear. And nothing is impossible for God. And the message is clear that we shall be the messengers of the gospel. The Lord is kind and merciful with confidence through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, we present to him our petitions. Uh, let's uh, recite the creed first. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, make of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, substantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with scriptures, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. I seek uh, our Blessed Mother's intercession and together with her, with our Lord Jesus Christ, let us uh, present our petitions to our loving Father in heaven. For ourselves and all Christians, that we may imitate Mary's yes to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, that God may give them the wisdom they need to govern wisely for the good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace among nations, we ask the intercession of Mary, the Queen of Peace, to help end wars and violence in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to make ends meet, we remember the poor, migrant workers, and the homeless, especially as the weather gets wetter and colder. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the sick, we remember Brian Batt, Charlie Cunningham, Mary Schmaltz, and the patients, patients at US, UCSF Hospital for the grace of healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Tanya Ronga. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the personal intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Hear Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, you who sent your Son to save us, Hear our prayer made in faith, faith, and in your goodness grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your previous grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of all original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you may prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without a spot and wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb, who would wipe away our offenses. You place her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in the company of the choirs of the angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Uh, 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, or who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, from the divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, 
but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal us, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserved bless Mary in her immaculate conception through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. If you haven't done so yet, we would like to be someone's secret Santa. We are collecting $25 gift cards for either Target or Safeway for the clients of Catholic Charities. You can pick up an ornament for each gift card. So far, we've collected 41 gifts, and we have a goal of 100. You can drop off your gift in the church's office mailbox. Thank you for being someone's secret center. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And may I say, send it, go in peace. Our Sunday morning is still in very soon, number 582 in the music books. Still in very soon, number 582. <laughs> We are going to see you soon.